Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about systems of two equations, and we're going to solve each system by elimination. So, if I was given this system, negative 16 plus 20x minus 8y equals 0, and 36 equals negative 18y minus 22x, all right? Well, what I want to do first is I'm going to rewrite this so all my variables are on one side and my numbers on the other. So I'm going to bring all the variables to the right-hand side to match the bottom equation. So the top, I'm going to leave as negative 16, but then I subtract the 20x and add an 8y to both sides. So we have a equals a positive 8y minus 20x here. And then I'm going to bring over the bottom equation, 36 equals negative 18y minus 22x. So this one's going to be tricky. We have our two equations here, and we need to find a way to eliminate one of the variables. I find the easiest one here to be uh, the y's. If I multiply negative 18 times 4, I get 72, and 8 times 9 is 72. So I'm going to take the top equation and multiply it by 9, and the bottom equation and multiply it by 4. Now we're going to get some large numbers here, okay? but sometimes that just happens. All right, negative, or 9 times negative 16, which I don't know off the top of my head. 9 times negative 16 is a negative 144. And that's equal to 9 times 8y, which is 72y, minus 9 times 20 is 180x. Right? So we negative 180x. Now we just drew the 4. 4 times 36, I think that's, yeah, 144. So we have positive 144 here. And that's equal to 4 times negative 18y, which is a negative 72y. Okay, let's just double check that 4 times 18 is 72, great. And 4 times negative 22 is a negative 88, and we're going to bring over the x. So now we have to add our two equations here, okay? And this is uh, a little tricky here, be careful. We have a negative 144 plus a positive 144, is, we have a 0, okay? A 0 right there. 72y minus 72y is just 0. Uh, negative 180x minus 180, uh, 88x is going to be a minus uh, 260, 268, 268x. So from there, we don't really care about this zero, so zero equals a negative 268x. I divide by negative 268 to both sides, right? And zero divided by negative 268 is just zero. So zero here is x, or we wrote it first, x is just zero. So now we want to plug that back into another equation to simplify or solve for our y. So it really doesn't matter which equation we choose as far as e's. Let's go with, let's say the second one, let's write down there. We have 36 equal to negative 18y minus 22x. I'm going to plug zero in for x there. 36 equals negative 18y minus 22 times 0. Anything times 0 is just 0, so we're done with that. 36 equals negative 18y. Divide by negative 18 to both sides. And that gives me my what? Value by itself there on the right. And 36 divided by negative 18 is a negative 2. So we have y to be negative 2, x to be 0. Our coordinate point here is a 0, comma, negative 2. And there we have it final answer. So to recap, we're given our two equations, negative 16 plus 20x minus 8y equals 0, and 36 equals negative 18y minus 22x. I rewrote uh, both equations, uh, really the top one, to have the numbers come first, then the, the letters, the variables. From there, I then uh, saw that I'd multiply the top equation by 9, the bottom equation by 4. That would eliminate the y variable eventually. Okay, so when I add the two equations, a so y gets eliminated. But I also ended up eliminating or getting zero, the, um, the numbers by itself. So we end up with zero equals a negative 268x divided by negative 268 to get x equals zero. That's always nice when x is zero because things eliminate quickly. Zero goes in for one of our equations, which has a second equation for x, and then we simplify or solve really for y. 22 times zero, negative 22 times zero is just zero. Don't really worry about that. Divide by negative 18 on both sides gives me y equals negative two. So again, our final answer, when we solve by elimination of the system of equations, is 0, negative.